How's it going guys? So I want to talk about how my rooting experience for the Moto X has been. Rooting this phone was actually pretty easy. It wasn't hard at all. It took a little bit of time because it's been a while since I rooted the phone. But my good friend Mike helped me out. And of course there are some videos as well already on YouTube that shows you how to root it. And I know a lot of people have already rooted the Moto X. I haven't rooted in a while because... I used to use, I was using, I'm on Verizon, so Verizon, you know, they're always locking their bootloaders, making it very hard to root their phones. So now the 2014 Moto X, you can root it, so that's pretty good there since you won't be getting Marshmallow. But this one's unlocked, obviously, and Motorola, Motorola lets you unlock the bootloader, which is awesome. So easy to, to root. Does it need to be rooted? I don't think so, but... If you need some extra function that stock Android doesn't provide, it's definitely good to have it as an option. So, let's, let's start with the launch screen first. So as you can see here, shortcuts, and over here, that's not Verizon, that's just my Instagram name. So that's, I was able to do that because I'm rooted now. You know, uh, the main things I'm using are going to be exposed and gravity box which i put in my shortcut here to get to so exposed these are the modules that i'm using amplifier gravity box instagram themer native clipboard which is awesome which is supposed to be in in marshmallow but i it wasn't there it was in the notes but i didn't know how to activate it but it's there now uh xgpm and x media notification i'll show you that's google play music and then so of course you can already see here, these are of course not supposed to be red, but they are because I updated them with Gravity Box. Also added this and that, so this is like a quick shortcut. And then I have this of course with the menu button. So a lot of cool little things that you're, it lets you do. Also that too for my extended power menu, so I can do that directly from there. Also if I double tap here, that'll be a screenshot, which is pretty cool. And, you know, with being rooted, some apps are able to do more, like power toggles that I use. I, with root, I have a shutdown menu here as well, and I also can increase my system font. So, th those are cool things. So, as you can notice, my settings are a little bit different, different colors here. This is uh, running on the True Pure ROM. So, two, version 2.4. 2.5 is out now, but I'm still on 2.4. Really nice ROM. Very, very um, de-bloated. When I started the True Pure ROM, there was like 10, 12 apps total when I started the phone, which is pretty awesome. And then, uh, but you still get all the motor features. You still get motor display and everything, as you can see here. So, that's still active. Every motor feature is still here. Only downsides I've noticed is that sometimes the... This multitasking button doesn't always come up right away, which is really, really annoying. Which is, um, hopefully they have that fixed. Maybe it's just an issue that I've had. But if they fix that, then this is actually, this one works perfectly fine. So what I'm using to get the different colors and the different, um, also the these ones also came from the same thing. It's actually called Layers. So Layers Manager and Layers Showcase. So you, you can download a whole bunch of different ones. I'll link the one that I'm using in the description below, but it's pretty cool. It's P-E-E-A-F. So it pretty much kind of changes everything on the phone. It's um, because of Sony that this has happened. So you can actually theme Android without changing too much, with, without like having to... Essentially, for people that make skin phones, it'll make it easier for them to theme the Android and supposed to lead to faster Android updates as well. So that's pretty cool. Otherwise, my uh, rooting experience has been really good. Uh, let me show you real quick with um, the last thing I want to show you that I definitely enjoy. Let me put the volume down so that, you know, they don't flag my video. So music is playing right now. And whoop, I need to actually do this. And boom, that's how you fix it with root. I don't know if they fixed it yet, but mine, it does tend to crash after a while, which sucks. But that's that's awesome. That's so, so that's one of the models I showed you, the XGPM. Really good feature. I like it. It also gives you a lot more control over here as well. So, yeah. So that's been my experience with rooting. I love it. It's been giving me a lot of extra benefits. What are, what are some of the apps that you use? Let me know. And I'll see you guys on the next one.